What's going on, everybody? My name is Ryan Scarfone from College Court Report. I am the Notre Dame beat writer for the website, bringing you a preview of the upcoming game between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the NC State Wolfpack. Tip-off is set for tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, broadcasting live on the ACC Network. This is a home game for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish uh, as they look to become 2-0 uh, to start their ACC state slate, as well as NC State looks to bounce back from their opening loss in ACC play to the Clemson Tigers, uh, but we'll get into all that later. I uh, just want to start a happy new year, happy holidays to everyone. Hope everyone's holidays and New Year's was fun. You know, a chance to spend with friends and family. Mine was. And uh, 2018 is going to be a hell of a year. I can't wait for it. We have a lot of things planned here at College Court Report. Um, but uh, just to kind of give you a little sneak peek of what we're doing, uh, we plan to, um, we're going to be talking about this, uh, me and the co- me and my colleagues at uh, College Court Report, we're going to be um, meeting uh, tomorrow about, you know, the future plans for College Court Report and what we d- want to do with it and, you know, what what we want to add to the website uh and definitely like we've we've already been brainstorming and um what we you know keep talking about is we want to increase the amount of content we give you as well as um the different types of content you know with technology getting a lot better and the shifts in from written to um to video and audio uh we know what the trend is and we want to um get caught up with that so we're going to be giving you guys a lot more um, con- digital content that will be posted on our social media pages as well as our YouTube channel. So be sure to follow us all on that. I'll give you, um, I'll give you guys um, the names of our Twitter account uh, at the end of the show so you're able to follow us. But uh, we just want to give you more content that you're able to consume on everything college basketball um, and kind of try to, you know, generate conversation around it. We all love college basketball. That's why we're here. Um, we're, we're still going to be, um, providing written pieces, but we're just going to be adding more video and audio features. So without further ado, let's jump right into Notre Dame versus NC State. This is, uh, this is going to be a good game. Um, however, might be a lot closer than expected because a lot, just news just happened that news just broke that Bonzi Colson will be out eight weeks due to a, a foot fracture, I believe, um, that he suffered in practice. Um, so I'm recording this on January 2nd. So he he suffered a, a, a fracture on January 2nd. So he'll be out eight weeks, which is a big blow to the Irish considering what Bonzi Colson does every game. He, um, you know, he's a double-double machine. He's our leading scorer at 21 Point four points per game, ten point four rebounds per game. That's just absurd numbers. Um, so that'd be a huge blow. the The game was already going to be close without Bonzi, but it's now even going to be closer. I think without Bonzi, someone's definitely got to step up. If, you know, John Mooney, Elijah Burns, um, Nikola Jogo. Like they're everyone collectively is going to have to step up. Um, they're not. There's no one that's going to be able to match what Bonzi's been doing, but definitely. Uh, on a Notre Dame team that struggles um, when it comes to depth, they're definitely going to ha- need guys to step up if they are going to continue to win. Um, but for the AC, for, for the NC State Wolfpack, um, still a really good team. They're ten and four in the season. Uh, like I said, zero and one to start out their conference play. They lost to Clemson, uh, seventy eight sixty two. Notre Dame's, um, according to the ESPN pow- or Basketball Power Index. They're uh, favored to win by um, 81.5%. But still, regardless, NC State has a lot of good pieces to their team. They started out um, with a five-game win streak, and then they suffered two losses to Northern Illinois and Tennessee at the beginning of the season. Uh, They have wins against um, then number two Arizona, which they uh, achieved in the Battle for Atlantis tournament. That was a 90-84 win. And, you know, at the beginning, we all thought maybe Arizona wasn't the team wasn't that great of a team, but they're actually they're they're not they're not too bad. They find their uh, they found they found their groove. They're number they ranked number fourteen in the in the nation, um, and uh, they continue to uh, impress. They they just um, they just knocked off Arizona State, who was ranked number three at the time. They were undefeated, so uh, they're continuing to press impress once again, uh, regardless of their shaky start. Um, but back to NC State. Um, a lot of they have wins against you know Penn State, South Carolina State, uh, Arizona as I mentioned, 
um, Robert Morris, Jacksonville, lost it to Clemson, um, as well as Tennessee, or like I, I, I mentioned Tennessee before. But um, still, uh, still a, a team that Notre Dame needs to uh, stay focused uh, for. Now, if we're going to look at team stats, now, between these two teams, um, NC State actually averages more points per game um, at 84 to Notre Dame's 81, but they also give up um, more at 70 to Notre Dame's 65. Uh, Notre Dame's better field goal um, is better when it comes to field goal percentage. Uh, They're shooting 49% from the field to NC State's 47% from the field. Um, they're gra- NC State's grabbing more rebounds, dishing more assists. Um, you know they have a they have a lot of a uh, lot of good things. They have five guys that are averaging uh, double digit scoring points, double double digit scoring figures. Sorry, uh, they're led by Alaric Freeman, who's um, I hope I didn't butcher that name. He's a, a senior guard transfer from Baylor. He's averaging 15.4 points per game as well as 4.9 rebounds and 2.6 assists. You know, they also have like guys like Braxton Beverly, who was a um, he was a player featured in the news quite a bit before the season started. He was uh, he went to Ohio State, took some classes there, was going to play for the Buckeyes. Once that model left, he wanted to uh, play elsewhere, chose NC State. The NCAA, you know, didn't grant his um, eligibility, but then all but then it came to be that they granted it, and uh, he's been a, uh, a good player for the Wolfpack. 10.3 points per game, 2.3 rebounds per game, as well as 4.3 assists per game. Um, a lot of good pieces. They also, but they are without, uh, they are going to be without Markel Johnson, who recently was suspended for um, uh, assault charges that are up against him after an incident on October 8th uh, in his hometown of Cleveland. So they will be without Markel, uh, who is averaging 8.7 points per game, 2.2 rebounds, and 6.6 assists. Um, When it comes to a player to watch out for, um, you know, I I mentioned already about Alaric Freeman, um, uh, Braxton Beverly. There's guys like Omar uh, Yurtseven. Yurtseven? who's averaging 11.9 points per game. Um, but a guy that I got to go with is uh, Tor- Torin Dorn. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm butchering all these names, but uh, Torin Dorn I'm going to go with. Um, 13.5 points per game, 7.8 rebounds per game, 1.7 assists per game. Uh, he's a guard, and he's leading the team in rebounds. He's um, got a good field goal shooting percentage at 50 at 55%. Uh, however, he's coming off of um, not a bad performance, but I, I'd say one of his poor shooting performances. He went uh, one for eight against Clemson, um, scoring only seven points. But he did grab ten rebounds, and that's that seems to be um, you know what he's been doing all year. You know, he he has games where he scores um, a lot of points, um, but then there's also games where he scores like single digit, but he still grabs. Um, quite a bit of rebounds as well. Um, so that is the player I'm going with. Now, um, when it comes to my prediction, uh, like I said, I think this game is going to be a lot closer than um, what we initially expected. I, I predicted it was going to be close. Um, I actually recorded a preview before I heard that Bonzi Colson was out, and I said that it was going to be close. But, you know, after hearing that, it's it's – it's going to be close either way, and I and I'm trying to figure out who is going to step up for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, um, because you know, um, Mike Bray's tried to get guys in um, like Mooney and and Burns, but they don't necessarily contribute a lot, even with the increased uh, minutes that they're getting. Uh, so they're definitely going to have to step up, um, and I wonder what the Irish are going to do for the next cup for the next eight weeks, because that's a huge blow to their team losing. Um, you know, the preseason ACC player of the year in Bonzi Colson averaging a double double. Um, I don't, I'm not sure where, where the help is going to, is going to, is going to come from. Mart, uh, Martinez Gebbin is certainly going to get a lot of the, a lot of work now. Um, you know, he was already taking pressure off Bonzi, but he's certainly, he's now the guy in, uh, down low. So he'll get a lot more work. Um, but you know, re- I, I and I and I talk about this a lot. You know the reliance of Notre Dame on their star, on on their starters. 
and getting more help. So um, definitely going to be a close game. I'm going to go Notre Dame 72, NC State 62. Notre Dame is going to achieve or is going to advance to um, 2 and 0 on conference play, um, and NC State's obviously going to fall to 0 and 2. But uh, that'll do it for me. Uh, thank you everyone for listening to. This uh, preview between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the NC State Wolfpack. Tip-off is set, like I said, uh, 9 p.m. tomorrow at the Purcell Pavilion in in South Bend, Indiana. uh, Broadcasting live on the ACC Network. Um, If you like this uh, piece of content, give it a like. And if you want to watch more, subscribe to it so you can keep up to date with all our content that's coming out in the new year. Go on and tell a friend. We'd love to, the more, the merrier. We want uh, to grow this uh, community as much as possible. We want to, you know, we want as many people talking about um, college basketball. And if you have a comment, leave it in the comment below. Um, As well as don't forget to follow our social media channels. I'll be providing uh, a recap, which will be posted on my Notre Dame Twitter account. Uh, you can read all about that when the game is concluded. My, You can follow me at my personal account, at Ryan Scarfone 17 or at my other account, which is my Notre Dame one, like I mentioned, at ND Court Report, or follow us on our uh, College Court Report main Twitter, the main College Court Report Twitter account, which will give you updates for variety of teams around the country. It is at CC underscore report. Um, don't forget to um, to give that a follow. But uh, until next time, cheers. <laughs>